Fortnite's Halloween update is released, and today a brand new boss has appeared at Grim Gables who is insanely difficult. When you land at the POY, it has fog, a spooky atmosphere, and you'll immediately get jump scared by zombies. These guys are everywhere, so watch out, but you seriously need to prepare yourself before entering the basement. Underneath the house, there's a summoning circle with a Kraken Cthulhu looking symbol, and once you step on it, the Inquisitor reveals himself. He's a chrome boss who spams fireflies and can destroy you with a new weapon. Once you defeat him, you'll get a pumpkin launcher and the Mythic Suppress SMG, which is almost exactly like every other one. But this is just the start of what's new in Fortnite Nightmares, as zombie chickens are now appearing around the map. They make these really creepy noises and their necks are just completely broken, but I love it. Just remember, they have a 90% chance of jump scaring you, so watch out. Fitting with tradition, Fortnite Nightmares has brought back candy buckets, which give out a ton of consumables like peppermints and jelly beans. There are also Halloween decorations all over the island again, but you seriously have to look at the reality tree for the craziest map change. There's a concert happening at this POI with a new character called DJ Laika, which we saw in the first teaser. She is blasting music to a crowd, but once you get too close, they vanish and it's just you remaining. If you step on this alteration altar and open the squirrel wheel, it'll show you the new ritual emote. Now just dance and a huge hologram appears in front of you that shows your skin merging with DJ Laika. And this is where you're granted Fortnite's latest mythic. Introducing the Howler Claws, which are an updated version of Wolverine's item from Chapter 2, but like 10 times cooler. They give you a wolf scent ability that lets you track down enemies, kind of like a flare gun. If that sounds overpowered, Epic is balanced this by adding a cooldown and a terrifying heartbeat system. If you're in a game and hear your own pulse, it'll actually get louder as someone approaches. So if I hear this and I get jump scared by a zombie, I'm seriously gonna pass out. It's not just the reality tree with this mythic. You can find these projection pads all over the island, like at Flutter Barn and Logjam Lotus. A more relaxing experience is found at the start of a match as the classic Fortnite Nightmares boss is back and plays the Halloween music we all know and love. But this is where it gets weird, because nobody expected to wake up and see the next crossover in the item shop. In the weeks leading up to this update, everyone was hoping for Freddy Krueger or Jason Voorhees, but instead, you can buy Mr. Meeseeks in summer right now. It's gotta be the most random Halloween shop I have ever seen, but luckily, there's a classic 80s character coming to the game. Yes, Ash Williams from Evil Dead has been revealed, and his skin will be releasing in the next few days. If you land near the reality tree, you can find a secret location in the woods called the Nobi Cabin. This is an exact replica of the place from the movies, and it is filled with easter eggs. There's a talking moose above the fireplace, a tape recorder, and even the Necronomicon in the living room. Walking around is the Ash Williams NPC himself, and in the shed, you can find his iconic chainsaw, which will eventually be his pickaxe. Some people hope it's not exclusive, while others want it to be an actual weapon, but in the trailer, you can see Ash raising the chainsaw, so this is probably a built-in emote that lets you equip it. The Evil Dead also has a universal emote crossover called It's a Trick, and it looks awesome! This is a reference to a scene where they lock the sister in a cellar and she tries to get out. But you have to pay attention to the most important part of this set, the Necronomicon backbling. This is a big part of the movies, but it was originally created by H.P. Lovecraft. So back at Grim Gables, we pointed out the summoning circle for the Inquisitor, and his symbol looks a lot like a Kraken or even Cthulhu. Now, of course, it's probably just for the NPC's octopus design, but could this be hinting at something bigger? It also brings us to even more map changes you need to know about. Considering everything this season is literally floating around, it's no surprise that a ton of locations are on the move. The pirate ship has now relocated itself to Greasy Grove, so it's on the complete opposite side of the map compared to last season. We were also shocked when one of the blimps from the Resistance came back, and it's collecting passengers from Tilted right now. But I think one of the most surprising changes is that Tilted's most iconic building has actually left. You can now find No Sweat Insurance at Shiny Sound. They've been busy creating platforms around the island with runways on them, so it seems random, but this is because planes are returning to Fortnite. We've had leaks about this for months, but it's finally been confirmed. In the upcoming week six challenges, you'll have to take one through a rift, and with these new runways, it's now just a matter of time. So while we wait for that, one of the most anticipated LTMs has been released, and it has a huge twist. Horde Rush is back, and Epic has deleted building from the entire mode. You'll have to take down the cube monsters and final boss with zero builds. It'll stick around after Fortnite Nightmares has ended, but these upcoming skins won't, and there are some insane cosmetics around the corner. This is gonna be one of the best Halloween sets in years, with eight outfits coming to the game, and one of them will be completely free. Starting with Remy, this is a cell shaded skin with two styles, from a normal guy to a blue devil. Although people that are way more Halloween themed are Ravika Saint and Abyss. And it wouldn't be four nightmares without some skeletons, and this year's bundle has three of them. Jack Assassin is a henchman with a pumpkin on his head and a skull suit, while Bonejumin had 3D glasses and a punk design. Of course, I've saved the best for last. Ava was a leaked survey skin who is finally coming to the game, and if you don't recognize 
Organizer, this is their second edit style. And yeah, I mentioned one of these skins is gonna be free and that is Chrome Punk. He's gonna be part of a quest line as the final reward and the challenge is extremely simple. All you gotta do is gain 50 levels and the skin is yours, but I, I get it, easier said than done. While you're grinding out challenges to earn the skin, you'll probably earn some loading screens and this update added a lot of them. They mostly advertise the upcoming skins, but even if you don't fancy spending your hard earned V-Bucks on them, don't worry. There's a chance you may have actually gotten something for free. If you own the Grimoire skin, you can now log in and get a brand new bone white style for absolutely free. And I mean, who says Epic doesn't give fans what they want? Speaking of bones, Fortnite might have accidentally leaked an upcoming skin. Over four months ago, a spray was found in the files called Speed Demon, and people connected it to this outfit from the survey. It is probably the creepiest thing I've seen all year, and now it's been confirmed thanks to today's update. The demon has been given an animation that plays while in the lobby, and even though we can't see it on the actual skin, you can already tell it's gonna look great. Even though I'm probably gonna be running from this thing, there are actual escape rooms in Fortnite right now, just not the way you think. Epic has added quests and a new website that lets you go through rooms and complete tasks to earn rewards. You can now get an emoticon, spray wrap, even XP from this. And there's also an upcoming pickaxe that has a really incredible secret. The Schooly Scepter harvesting tool looks awesome, but you probably didn't know that it was created by an artist in the community. Even though the concept royale winners have already been released, one of the contest entries was this Crankingstein skin by Anime Absol. In the set, you can see a pickaxe called the Bone Wand, and it looks like Epic liked this so much, they are bringing it to the game. Four Nightmares is never complete without a few secrets, and this year is no different. If you visit any of the gravestones on the map, they will literally talk to you? There's all kind of creepy messages and small jokes, so who knows what's lurking underneath the ground. Apparently someone died because they didn't thank the bus driver, so if you need any more evidence, thank the bus driver. Turns out there's even more characters lurking on the island. You'll be able to find NPCs like Heyman, Willow, Nighthair, even Mincemeat, but they'll only be available during Four Nightmares, so make sure you find them and look at what they have to offer. While there's no shortage of NPCs, something that is almost completely removed is animals. The only wildlife left are chrome wolves and zombie chickens. Some fan favorites like frogs, crows, boars, they're all gone. And one of the weakest weapons in season four is finally getting a buff. When the chrome shotgun was first released, players liked the idea of a horizontal shot, but it, it kind of felt like you were shooting marshmallows. Well, luckily Epic has given this thing more damage and range, so you gotta try it now, it's actually not bad. And that brings us to one of Fortnite's most promising LTMs, which is called Training Grounds. Even though the game is half a decade old, it actually doesn't have a proper tutorial, and it looks like this mode is gonna fix that. Other games already have a Training Ground option, so this will probably be pretty similar. The saddest part of today's update is that Epic vaulted the Grapple Glove. These were so loved by the community, and Fortnite even added a secret feature to attach to animals, so I'm hoping these are only gone for Halloween, but the patch note said they're probably not coming back. It's not the only thing that's vanished, as the end of chapter three is upon us and the teases just keep coming. Epic has been throwing hints at the community since the season began and this update has even more. The Chrome Sea Backlink says a beginning for the end and there are others that say stop the flow of reality. With everything we have learned today from new skins to a Chrome takeover, I am certain that Four Nightmares is exactly how they described it. The beginning of the end. That is every secret of Four Nightmares. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.